Good morning. Happy Monday, friends. Tamika here. And um, I'm getting better at routine now that school is back in session for me. Um, I'm ready to be a little bit more consistent with my live videos. So as you're hopping on, say hello. I've got Instagram here. I've got Facebook over here. And today I want to talk to you about why 95% of people fail in life. So um, in the Get Fit Club, we actually just started this week a Stranger Secret Challenge. If you've never listened to that book before, I highly recommend it. Um, I just downloaded it on Audible. I listened to it in 2x speed. So instead of taking 30 minutes, it only takes 15 minutes. And um, it's the first thing I picked up my phone this morning and I clicked play. And uh, each day, it's so interesting. I probably listened to this book over a thousand times. Like I kid you not, if you know, you know, right? Like if you're in network marketing or you own a small business, you've probably listened to this book before and you know what the Stranger Secret Challenge, you're supposed to listen to it every morning for at least 30 consecutive days, if not longer. And every time that I've done this, I've had huge results in my business. I've been overall happier, healthier, all the things. So I don't know why I don't do it more often, but um Anyway, so I hit play this morning and every time I listen to it, something new stands out to me. And today, um, this certain section or this certain sentence just really hit me hard. And I've been mulling over it and trying to decide like, what do I want to, or like, how am I going to share this with you guys? So, um, if you guys will just tell me in the comments, have you ever listened to the book, Strangest Secret? Drop a yes or a no, a Y or an N. Um, I'm just curious, like what the percentage is, because in this book, it talks about how if you go and you talk to a hundred people, 95 of them will tell you that they don't know what the stranger secret is. And so I'm just curious, um, you guys who are watching, um, do you know what it is? Right. And so only 5% are successful in the world. And so what does it mean? Um, what are we talking about here? We're talking about success. We're talking about being a successful person. And so it says, <laughs> that 95% of people are unsuccessful because ultimately they haven't defined what success looks like to them. So I want to do that with you today. Okay. I want to help you be successful. I want to help you start winning in your life, which means you need to define what that looks like. And you need to like physically define it. You need to write it down. And so I want you guys just to think just for a few seconds, when I say, are you successful? What's the first thought that comes to your mind? Yes or no, right? Like, are you successful? And I think that most of us would say no, because we're not billionaires and um, maybe our health isn't where we want it to be or our relationships or our family or um, like our material possessions or anything like that, right? And so in this book, it talks about what is success? Success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal a progressive realization of a worthy ideal. And he says, um, and this part always sticks out to me, um, success is the school teacher who is a school teacher because she wanted to be. And it's just interesting because I knew in 10th grade that I wanted to be a high school math teacher and I went to school for it. I went to work for six years being a high school math teacher. I took the last nine years off to raise my kids. And now I decided like back in January that I wanted to be a school teacher again. And, um, you know, of course it takes work. I had to put in my application. I had to go find referrals from like a decade ago to see who would um, still vouch for me. Uh, so it took work. It took consistent work, but I knew what I wanted. And every day I made progress toward it and I got an interview and now I got a job and now I'm going to work in two minutes. Okay. So success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. So I want you guys to just think like, what is something that you want to achieve? Whether it is a physical goal, an emotional goal, a mental goal, a uh, like a financial goal, like what is something that you want to achieve and write it down. If you're brave enough, I'd love to hear what it is. Maybe you need to think about it a little bit more. So come back once it comes to you, but this is crucial in order for you to have a successful life. And so, you know, for me to have a successful day, let's just start with a day. Um, I, I have a successful day when I wake up, when my alarm goes off, I get my workout in before my kids wake up. Um, I get my work done, everything that I said I was going to do for my small business. I get that done. Um, when I have good relationships with my kids and I'm not like yelling and screaming or being like annoyed with my husband because he breathes too loud, which has been happening a lot lately. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> and uh, so that is successful when my relationships are good for the day. When I eat good, I definitely feel more successful. So um, defining what success is is like overall is the first step and then zoning in, you know, and it's hard to do six different goals at once. And so just picking one, whether it's a financial goal that you want to work towards or a health goal that you want to work towards a physical goal and just picking one. And so today success to me is going to look like inputting all of my food into my fitness pal. So that way I'm counting my macros and tracking my calories because ultimately I want to lose 10 pounds, right? And so that is my goal. Setting my goal is I want to lose 10 pounds. I know where I'm at right now. I weighed in this morning and I know where I need to be. And in order to make that happen, number one, I got to set the goal. And number two, it's a progressive realization. So it means that every day I need to be working towards that goal. And if I am, then I'm a success. And let's say what happens when I hit that goal. Am I done? Am I like, woo, I'm so successful. No, like you have to keep working at it. Like there is no end to success. And so when you when you think about that, I talk to so many people and they're like, oh, I, I failed at that before. Failure only happens when you quit and give up. Okay, so don't quit. Don't give up. It's a progressive realization of a worthy cause, a worthy ideal. And that's what qualifies as being successful. So um, real quick, once again, if you haven't listened to The Strangest Secret, it's free on YouTube. It's free on Hoopla. You can download it on Audible. It's 30 minutes long. And if you really want to change your life, take The Strangest Secret Challenge with me and join my Get Fit Club. The goal is every single morning you wake up, you listen to the book and you share your aha. And I don't have to share it in a live video like I am right now. You can just um, share it in a post. But you guys, this is going to help. Like they say, when the tide rises, all the boats rise, all the ships rise, right? And so the people around you, regardless if it's me, like maybe maybe we're not like super connected. If we aren't, make sure that you click the link in my bio, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, um, all the places, even threads now, right? Um, but like it's going, when you do something to better yourself and then you're willing to put it out there and share it with other people, um, everybody around you rises. So don't you want to be that impact maker in your own life? I know I do. So that's why I'm here this morning right before I have to go to work. So anyway, I hope that this was helpful for you. Make sure that you define success for yourself. And I can't wait to hear about it. We'll see you guys later. Bye.